hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we will learn how to create a qr code generator using html css and very simple javascript here on my computer screen you can see one input box and one button if we write something in this input box we can add any text or we can add any url and when we will click on this button it will create the qr code of that link or text let me write something here if i write my channel name easy tutorials and click on this button it will create this qr code next i will add my name here and click here on this button you can see changes in this qr code it means it is creating a new qr code let me add one link here i will add google.com and click on this button and you will see the qr code for the google.com url you can scan this QR code from your mobile and it will open that link and if it is for the text, it will display that text. It is very simple to create this type of QR code generator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So keep watching this video till the end and create your own QR code generator. Here I have this folder and in this one you can see one HTML file, one CSS file. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Now we will come back to the CSS file and here we will add one CSS properties for the body. So let's add body and in this body we will add the background. Here we will add one color code. After that, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this dark color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever you will add any changes in the code file. Now you can see the same web page again. Now let's come back to the HTML file. Here we will create one div with the class name container. Next we will add the CSS for this container. So write this class name here in this CSS file and for this container we will add the CSS properties like width and some padding to add some space inside the box and position absolute top 50% left 50% transform translate minus 50 and minus 50 percent it will move this div in the center of the web page and here we have the white background and border radius let's come back to the website and you can see this box in the center of this web page in this one we will add one text one input field and one button so let's come back to the html file and within this container let's add one text in p tag enter your text or url then we will add one input field Input type will be text and then we will add the placeholder that will be the text displaying inside the input field. Next we will add one button and button text is generate QR code. After adding this let's come back to the website and you can see this text, this input box and this button. Next we will design it using CSS so let's come back and come to the CSS file. Here we will add dot container and p for the text in this one we will add the font weight it will be 600 then we will add the font size and margin at the bottom to add space at the bottom then we will add the css for the input field so write container and input For this input field I have added width and height then border of 1 pixel and outline is 0 then padding of 10 pixel that is space inside the input field and we have added margin 10 pixel from top and 20 pixel from the bottom and left right 0 and border radius is 5 pixel. Now you can see the font weight is increased for this text and this input field is also looking good. Next we will design this button so let's come back and here we will add dot container and button in this button i have added width and height then background and color 
this is for the text color of the button then border outline 0 border radius of 5 pixel and then i have added the box shadow for this button cursor pointer and margin it will be the space from top and bottom of 20 pixel and we have increased the font weight after that this button looks good next we need one api that will create the qr code for that just google for qr code api we will use this website goqr.me you can see the url goqr.me slash api i will give this link in the video description so you can directly come to this url and here you can see this link if we copy this one and paste it in the url you can see it will display a qr code the text in this url it is example if i replace this one i'll write hello it will give the another qr code so we will add the input here at the end of this url and we will get the different qr code for the particular text or url so let me remove the last word we will use this link in our javascript so let's come back to the code file and here just above this closing body tag we will add script script open and closing tag and in this one we have to create one function so let's create one function and write the name generate qr and before writing code in this function we will come back here just above this button we will add one div where we will display the qr code on the browser here we will add one div with the id img box and in this div there will be one image so write the img tag and the source will be empty because currently we don't have the qr code so the src will be empty and we will add one id here so id is qr img or let's say image qr image like this and we will add the variables here in this script we will add let img box equal to document dot get element by id and img box let's duplicate it and in this img box we will add this qr image and after that we need the input field here so in this input field we will add the id qr text where we will add the text so copy this one and duplicate this variable and here we will add qr text and qr text so it will give us the value written in the input field and this is the image and we have to add the image link in this img tag and we will get the link from here so just come back and here we will add qr image dot src because the src is not available so we will add this link and at the end of this link we need the text written in this input field so to get the text written in this input field we will add this qr text dot value so it will give us the value like this next we have to call this function that's it so just copy this one and add it here in this button we will add on click equal to generate qr it will run this function and it will get the value written in the input field and it will create this url and that url will be displayed in this img tag so let's come back to the website and test this one if i write something here hello and click on this button you can see it will display this qr code now we have to align this one and we will add some animation using css so just come back and uh, here we have added the image box write this id here for this one we will add the width it will be 200 and border radius it will be 5 pixel and let's add the max height it will be zero so in a series it will be hidden then we will add overflow hidden and uh, in this 
img box we have the img tag so write the img then width it will be 100 percent and let's add the padding of 10 pixel we have added the max height 0 so the image will be hidden and when we will add the text and generate the qr code then it will be displayed so we have to increase the max height so let's add the id first it is img box then write dot so img this class will be applied whenever the qr code is displaying and when this class will be applied here we will increase the max height let's add the max height of 300 pixel then we will add the margin margin will be 10 pixel and auto then we will add the border border will be 1 pixel solid and this color after adding this we have to apply this class name so let's come back to the html file and after this link here we will add img box dot class list dot add so it will add this class name now just come back to the css file here we are adding the max height 300 and initially it was 0 so here we will add the transition also so it will be smooth animation let's add transition max height one second after that if i write some text here and click on this generate button you can see it is increasing the height let's refresh the website and try again you can see smoothly it is increasing the height and displaying this qr code here if i click on this button without writing anything here let's see it is displaying this type of error so to fix this one let's come back and here we will include all these things in if condition we will add if and in this if we will check this qr text dot value dot length greater than zero and add it here so this code will be executed when the qr text value length is greater than zero it means this input field has some value now let's come back to the website if i click on this button nothing will happen because the input field is blank and if we write anything here and click on this button it will generate the qr code next we will add one more thing we will click on this button without writing anything in this input field then it should display some animation so we will add the shake animation in this input field when this input field is blank to add that animation let's come back to the css file and here we will add one class name error and let's add one animation here animation shake point one seconds linear and it will be for 10 times and then we will add the keyframes here we will add zero percent and at zero percent it will be transform translate x zero so there will be no movement let's duplicate it and here we will add minus two pixel it will go left then it will come back to the zero then it will go right by two pixel and again zero it will be 25 percent this will be 50 percent this is 75 percent and this is 100 percent like this and now we have to apply this error class name when there is an error so let's come back and here we are adding if condition so we will add the else and in this else we have to add that class name so write qr text dot class list dot add it will add this class name error now we are adding this class name but this class name should be removed after few seconds so here we will add set timeout it will be for 1000 milliseconds that is one second 
and in this one let's add this one and write remove so it will remove the class name after one second so if it is greater than zero it means if the input field has some value it will run this code and if the input field has no value then it will add this error class name and this error class name will add this animation that will move left by two pixel and right by two pixel for 10 times now let's see this animation if i click on this button you can see this input field is checking let's click again you can see it is working and if we write any url here we will write google.com and click on this generate qr code it will display this qr code now you just scan this qr code from your mobile and let me know in the comment section does it work or not so i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video